Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make podcast visualizers on Canva for free. The first thing you need to do is create a Canva account which you can do for free with your email address. Once you have created your Canva account, all I want you to do next is tap on videos from the menu option below the search bar. Then you are going to select video right where you see create blank 1920 by 1080 px. You are going to tap on that. After doing that you will be redirected to a new page on which we will be able to create our podcast visualizer. From here you are going to see a blank canvas. This will be our video right here. Then you are going to see the left and menu option you will see design elements, uploads, and text. The first thing I want you to do is add a background. So you can either choose to upload a background by tapping on uploads from the left and menu option, or you can scroll down and select background and use one of the preloaded backgrounds from Canva. For this example, I'll simply use one of the colored background. So I'll simply tap on, for example, this color right here to change the background. After you have done that, the next thing I would recommend you do is add the picture of the host or the guest. And to do that, you are going to need to go over to the left and menu option again. And you are going to select elements. After selecting elements, you are going to tap on the search bar. Let me go back so you can see it right here. All you'll need to do is go back. Let me go back real quick. From here, you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to tap on frame. You're going to type in frame. After typing in frame, you're going to choose the circle frame. So you'll simply tap and drag it and you can place it anywhere you want. I'll place it right here. After doing that, you're going to go into uploads and you're going to add the picture of the host or the guest. Or you can do this twice and you can add both the picture of the host and also the guest. Then you'll simply tap and drag it as you can see right there. After you have placed the pic, the next thing you can also do is add the name of the podcast and also the episode. So you're going to tap on text from the left and menu option. Then I'll tap on add a heading. After tapping on add a heading, I'll type in the name of the podcast. So simple answers. Then from here, I'll pull it down and I'm going to tap on add a heading again. Then I'll type in episode one. And then you can tap on add a heading again. Then from here, I'll type in host by. And you could add the name right there. And you can also change the style of the font by simply highlighting the font. Then from here, you could tap on the font style right where you see Canva Sans on my page. And from there, you could scroll down and you can select any one of the font styles that you'd like to use. You can also change the color of the font by tapping on the capital A. And from there, you'll be able to change the color. So you can choose any color you want. And yet, let me change the style of the font right here also. So I'll highlight this. Then I'll tap on the current font. Let me change it so you can see the different font styles that you can choose. So I'll change this one also. Tap right here. Then from here, I'll choose this one. After you have done that, the next thing I would recommend you do is you'll add, for example, a podcast mic. And to do that, all you'll have to do is go over to the left and menu option and you are going to select elements. After selecting elements in the search bar, you could type in podcast. Then you'll tap on enter. And from there, you'll see different graphics. So let's say, for example, I want to add this particular mic. All you have to do is tap on the mic that you'd like to add. Then from there, you could drag it to the position that you would like to place it to. And also, if you would like to change the color of the microphone, 
you will see a color box in the left hand column you could tap on that and from there you could choose the color that you would like or you could tap on the plus to add a new color so let's say for example i want the microphone to be red as you can see right there it is now red and you can also change the size now to add the visualizer you are going to go back into elements and you are going to tap on the search bar again and you are going to type in podcast after typing in podcast you can see graphics and you can see an example of an audio visualizer right there if we were to tap on see all you can see different visualizers that you can use for free and by the way if you scroll down you can see different video visualizers different colors but below some of them you will see pro that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on canva to use that particular visualizer but for this example i will use this one right here so all you have to do is tap on the visualizer and you can see right there it has been placed across the entire track and also if you would like to edit the size you can do that so you could make it smaller if you want so let's say for example i would like it to appear only here i can leave it right there as you can see and that's it now all you'll need to do is to add your audio and to add your audio you could go over to the left hand menu option again and you are going to select uploads after selecting uploads from there you are going to tap on audio and then for example let's say your podcast is 30 minutes or so on the first thing i would recommend you do is before adding the audio you are going to tap on the timeline then you are going to tap on the three dots after tapping on the three dots you are going to tap on duplicate page so you want to duplicate the page so you can duplicate the page numerous times so you will extend this to for example to fill out the 30 minutes so you are going to simply tap and drag it as you can see right there you can drag it right out so you can see at the moment i've dragged it to one minute and 45 seconds so you could drag it to 30 minutes for example then after doing that you are going to add your audio so you could add your audio then you can place the audio where you want so i'll simply tap on the audio track and i'll drag it right back so you can add the audio right there so let me add the audio again you can simply tap let me delete the track from there and i'll add the audio again so all i'll have to do is carry it to the front so i'll carry it to the front right here then from here i'll add the audio so you can see right there that's it so now all you'll have to do is tap on play once it has loaded up and you can see it right there and that's it and also another thing that you could do if you would like to add for example elements or if you would like the words to be moving you can make the words animated all you have to do is tap on the text box that you would like to animate then from the top right hand corner you could tap on animate so let's say for example you can see right there if you would like the words to continue wiping or palm you can do that so you can simply tap on any one of these options and the words will continue drifting as you can see right there and also if you would like to add a random element as this will be able to keep the viewers more engaged so let's say for example you want to add a bird flying across or so on just a random element you could tap on elements and from here i could type in for example bird or let me type in podcast again and then i'll add a random element just to show you an example so let's say see all after tapping on see all you could add your logo for example as a random element so i'll add this just for example sake so i'll tap on this then from here after you have added the random element you are going to go back you are going to highlight the element as you can see right there then you are going to tap on animate after tapping on animate i want you to select right where you see create an animation 
then you're going to simply tap and drag this. So if you would like it to go from left to right, all you have to do is tap and drag it from left to right, as you can see right there. And you can select whether you want it original or smooth. My one wasn't smooth, so I'll select smooth. Then you'll tap on done. After you have done that, for example, if I were to play it now, you can see the element go across. You can see it right there. And that's it. Now to save your video, you'll tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to select download. And you want to ensure that the file type is MP4 video. And you're going to tap on download and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.